Okay, we are at the stage of final shaping and putting into baskets. These are called Banatons. This will come in your kit. Um, I use this plastic bag over and over and I have a clip, like a baggy clip to keep it together. So it's just a big bag. I don't even remember where I got it. I just keep reusing it. So here's my Banatons. And you can see I've tried different things. Um, these came with linen liners, but I ended up abandoning those because the stove was really wet. So um, I started just flouring these with regular bread flour and I've decided and learned, i put a little bit of different light on, that you can use that Anthony's brown rice flour and line these and cover your um, loaves with the brown rice flour and it won't stick at all because it doesn't absorb as well. So it becomes really non-stick. The other thing you can do if you want is once your dough is formed into a loaf, you can dip that loaf into like sesame seeds or poppy seeds or whatever you want. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to put some flour in here. This is that rice flour. So I'm going to sprinkle generously into these baskets and then I'm just gonna tap it around like you would tap around a cake plate, you know, when you flour and butter it like that. And then I'm just gonna dump the extra in there and I'm gonna do the same with this one. Sorry, this is kind of tricky to do one-handed. Sorry about the sloppy caramel work. So I'm really trying to get that rice flour into the grooves of the banneton and then just pour it back in there. Okay, so these are very floured. What we're gonna do now is we're going to shape these into the frontal shape. So the whole point of shaping them is you want a loaf shape, but you also want the dough to have a little tension on it so that when it goes into your Dutch oven tomorrow morning, it will hold its shape, it will sit up so it won't blob out like it does now. So it's not gonna be blobby and long, like this is very loosey-goosey. It's gonna be more of a tight dough, it's gonna be in a loaf shape. It'll get poured out of here onto the board like that and then we'll score it and we'll put it in the Dutch ovens tomorrow morning, okay? so. I'm gonna flip this camera around and do the shaping.